Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I do mobile home life. I do cooking, cleaning motivation, organization, hauls, and more. In today's video, I will be making some breakfast. I have another last minute idea that I wanna try. Here I have some tater tots that I just want to use up and get out of the freezer. What I'm going to do is soften them up in the microwave for a little bit. So I'm going to put them in a microwave safe bowl. And I am going to put them in the microwave. A little amount of time I will do for one minute. So I hit microwave, one minute, start, one minute, and start. What I'm trying to do is soften them so I can mash them up and make like a hash brown patty with my eggs for breakfast. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a little bit of vegetable oil. I have it right here. I'm gonna add that to my pan, a little bit, and I'm gonna add a little butter also. Just a little slice of butter. I'm gonna get my pan heated up. Okay. Let's check on these. See how they're doing. Not quite soft enough. We'll do it a little more. We'll stop it. Go again for another minute. And we'll try that. The butter is melting slowly. There we go. Of course, I have to have my coffee. I have my coffee here. Gotta have that first thing. I'm making my coffee with my eyes half closed in the morning. Gotta have it. All right, it's nice and melty. Swing back over, check the tater tots. They're getting a little soft. I'm just gonna mash them a little bit. See what I'm doing here? I'm mashing them up. I don't know if this is gonna work once again, but I'm gonna try. I didn't want whole tater tots. Whoops, let me lower this heat. I have it on low now while I'm prepping this. All right, I'm gonna put it in for another 30 seconds or so, just to make sure it's heated properly. So we'll stop that. Go back to microwave again, and I have to set it for a minute and keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna start the eggs yet. I'm gonna get the tater tot uh, in the pan. So we have a couple seconds left and then they should be good. There we go. That should be perfect. So let's see what we can do. I'm just pressing this down. They're nice and soft, ready to go. I'm just gonna press it 
right in the bowl. Let me stop this, that blinking light. All right, I'm gonna put my temperature of my pan back up a little bit. There we are. I'm gonna grab my spatula, take these out and drop them right in the pan, just like that. I'm hoping it works. There's a couple crumbs here. I'm gonna get that nice and crispy on the one side. I'm pretty much making my own hash brown patty out of tater tots. So I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna get some seasonings. I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper, I'm even gonna add a little onion powder. Give us some flavor. Why not, right? I do the craziest things. You'll notice, you'll catch on after a while. Once you get to know me, hopefully I can turn this. <clears throat> I'm gonna get it good and browned. So far, it's looking okay. We'll see what happens. It might be a fail. So that's what it looks like. Not too shabby. Right now, anyway. I want to get it nice and crispy. All right. I hope you're all doing well today. How's your new year been going? I hope it started started with a bang. Mine's been very quiet. I live alone, so it's very quiet. All right, let's see the bottom. Nope, not ready yet. It's gonna be a little bit. I will let this cook and I will come back. I'll see you shortly. Okay, I am back. I think this is ready to flip. I hope it don't splatter everywhere. Let's give this a try. Ah, a little corner came off, but that's okay. Look at that, it's nice and golden brown. Perfect. I'm gonna lower it, definitely. It stayed together. So I think uh, this is a hit. If you have any leftover tater tots and you want some hash browns in the morning, give this a try. If you do, let me know in the comments what you think. So I added salt, pepper, a little onion on that side. Not too much. I'm going to let that brown more. Put it up a little bit. Actually, I'm glad I came up with that. I got rid of those tater tots out of my freezer. All right, I think I'm gonna put this on a plate, transfer it right to a plate. That's what it looks like. Sorry about the lighting, it's early morning. Right now it is 6.30 a.m. I am starving. I didn't uh, really eat much dinner last night. 
I wasn't feeling well and I wasn't that hungry. And now I am. So as you see here, I added some more butter to the pan. Okay, he is down lower. I have two eggs. I'm gonna fry them up. Beautiful. Oh, I have a third egg here. I'm gonna use that up out of that dozen. So there's not an empty container in there with one egg in there. All right. On the eggs, I'm just gonna add some salt some pepper, and I am going to cover it for a little bit. This way, I don't want them all uh, yucky on top. I like them cooked through, but I do like to have the yolk. The yolk is very good for the hash brown to eat it with that. <clears throat> so I will show you what the eggs look like. I'm gonna pop some of these bubbles. There we are, cover it back up. It should be done shortly. <clears throat> so I hope you all are doing well. Have a great new year. My plans for the new year, once again, is to try to get a decent amount of subscribers to get this channel going. I appreciate all of you that are supporting my channel. You guys are a blessing, and I love you guys, and I love your comments. I love communicating with you guys, and uh, it's a wonderful thing. It keeps me busy, you know. Uh, I live alone, and it keeps me very busy. So here are my eggs. Nice and sizzly. So I am going to add them right to my pan. Move this off of the burner. So I have my coffee. And my excellent breakfast, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.